All right, you guys, so here is another collective read. If you're new here or just discovering my channel from this read, then welcome to the channel. Um, I'm gonna use my Daily Vibes Oracle deck, y'all. I gotta get a new one. These are like so dirty. Like, I don't like the way they look right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna pull some from here. Of course, if you're interested in a personal read, which is definitely more accurate, I'm currently having a sale on the energy, the energy readings. They are $45 which is a steal but yeah the other reads that are listed in the description box below they are the regular price but except for the energy reading so yeah just check the description box below my payment links are down there as well y'all so yeah just make sure you read the description box so yeah what does the collector need to know right now what important messages does the collective need to know right now? Well, we got making moves that want to pop out. For some of y'all, you could be needing to make your moves hidden. There could be some type of opportunity that you could be about to go towards. Or um, it could be multiple opportunities. You know, we don't want to limit our opportunities. You can get more than one. But, yeah, making moves. It says make your make your next move your best move. So, yeah, but I feel like whatever this move is, y'all, it's like you being very strategic. It's like maybe you're hiding the moves that you're making it's like keeping it black and white you see how the card is black and white y'all i never read my cards like that but yeah that's what's showing up it's like not showing um really all whatever moves that you're making it's like not really not really giving too much information even if somebody was like to ask you about okay so like what you about to do or like what you about to do or you know like what you got going on it's like you just keeping it black and white like very plain not giving them too much information so yeah that's what i got so far but let's see what else, what else shows up um tell me more what else does the collective need to know yeah look y'all moving silence came out so yeah that was definitely on point listen whatever you saying about your next move you know how some people they just do it very casually it's like they don't really realize that like hey you know maybe you shouldn't tell everybody like what you about to do um with this moving silence but it's definitely about something that you're about to do whatever this is y'all the reason why it's saying to like move in silence about um or like keep your plans hidden is because the people that you're talking to are like um telling your business to basically they could be trying to project look project and we got rejected they're it's like they are um it's almost like they're putting down whatever it is that you're doing. But Spirit's saying go towards it. Stop being afraid. Stop letting other people project their fears and their insecurities. Because maybe they experienced some type of rejection. Maybe their goals never um, came through. Maybe they did just never, um, you know, did it. Whatever it is that they had their mind set out to do. Because they probably had other people projecting their fears onto them. If that makes sense. I know that was kind of all over the place. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So fear. I feel like someone's projecting their fears onto somebody else. Give me one more for um, the collective. So hold on. Give me one more. So yeah, we got new cycle showing up. That haterade card kept wanting to pop out, y'all. So whoever <laughs> This whoever you tell your business to, they low key hate, and y'all know that dream um that I had, I was telling y'all about, and they could just be jealous too about the moves that you about to be making. So it's like stop telling them the information or like your plans. But we got new cycle. Welcome in the new. I'm gonna get one more here. Um, actually, I'm gonna clarify this moving silence card because the haterade card kit wants to pop out like bad. Tell me about moving silence. So we got have faith here. Yeah, whatever your plans are, y'all, your ideas, keep them hidden but go towards them. Like it is possible. Yeah, whatever you're creating, you could be like a creative or just like whatever you, um, whatever type of ideas that you could have. This could be something like so small. It's like maybe you want to start a business. Maybe you want to start like a, um, a Instagram account for your business. But it's like maybe you don't, um, maybe you haven't really started it basically. But it's like go ahead and start the, the Instagram or like the social media um, platforms for whatever it is. Whatever type of idea that you have is saying like go ahead and do it. Okay. So I'm going to go in with the cards real quick and see 
what shows up. Tell me about making moves for the collective. Um, I just got finished doing a collective read, y'all. Um, that one should be up before this one because I just got finished doing it. But it's like I was um, guided to do another one, y'all, because I was about to just like go ahead and like upload the two readers that I did today. But I got guided to do another one. So I guess, you know, maybe this is meant to come out. Um, well, I know it's meant for to come out for somebody, but somebody maybe needs to hear this today. Tell me about making moves for the collective. Yeah, so it looks like something's definitely ending, y'all. You could definitely uh, be about to start something new. It's almost like some type of inspired idea that you could have. So it looks like something's ending here, but then it's like you're about to go towards something else, but you could have some energy surrounding you that's telling you like, oh, I don't think that's a good idea. Or, um, you know, they could be saying that it's not going to work out. But no, it is going to work out. Tell me about making moves for the collective, please. So yeah, look, the hair font card. So it looks like um, something definitely ended, but it, it looks like there's some type of change that's occurring. And it's like now, you said the black and white, y'all, is really standing out in these cards. So yeah, for somebody here, it looks like you're about to go towards something new. Something ended, and it's like you're about to make a really big move. But I feel like someone needs to be smart, y'all, about the moves that they're making. For whoever, yeah, look, the death card with the eight of cups. So, yeah, it looks like you're walking away from a certain situation. For some people, y'all, this could be a relationship because the read that I just did a few minutes ago for the collective. For some people, y'all, it's almost like you could be with somebody. It's like maybe you've been with them for a while. It's like when you wake up, you like, I want something new. <laughs> I swear that's the energy I'm getting. It's like you tired. It's like you want something new. It's like you got some type of inspired idea. Like, hey, I'm gonna go towards somebody else, or I want something new. And it's like other people trying to talk you out of it. You need to have faith um, behind like these moves that you're making. Tell me about moving silence. So we got the King of Swords showing up. Yeah, somebody single, single. We got the King of Swords. So um, there could be like an air sign involved. You could be an air sign watching this. But yeah, it's like with the King of Swords, he not really saying, like he don't really talk that much. Um, you could definitely come off as like very guarded as well with the King of Swords. But it's just being very smart and um, strategic because like an air sign energy showing up. Just know... Um, Whatever you're doing, it's like just knowing when to speak about it and when not to speak about it, basically, if that makes sense. Tell me more about moving silence. Yeah, four of pentacles. Keep this to yourself. Yeah, for some of you guys, you could have gotten some type of opportunity or you could be wanting to go towards someone with the opportunity, y'all. But it's wanting you to keep it to yourself. This could be like money involved, too, because I've seen a nine of pentacles. But yeah, it's like kind of like holding on to whatever type of goal you got. It's just like holding on to it tight because people try to take it away from you or just kind of like spoil it for you. Tell me about new cycle for the collective. Tell me about new cycle. Okay, so this could definitely be, um, this could be like a love situation for someone, y'all. But I feel like, too, maybe someone got some type of, like, divine inspiration as well with this Ace of Cups. But, yeah, Ace of Swords coming out. So, we got two Aces that showed up. So, this is definitely some new energy that's coming towards someone. But, um, let me see. Why is moving silence here? Oh, if this is, like, a new relationship, y'all, for somebody... It's saying not to, um, it's almost like just keeping it to yourself with this, whatever this new thing is, like what you welcome me in the new or some type of offer opportunity that you got going on. Like just try not to say too much about it. We got the eight of swords showing up. Um, let me see. Tell me more about this move of silence card. 
So we got the Sun card. And we got the Ten of Cups coming in as well. There's some type of success or... um. I feel like whatever this is, it's going to make you, like, really, really happy. It's like maybe you're not really seeing it right now um, from what's showing up. But I'm trying to figure out. Oh, for some of you guys, um, the reason why I have faith is coming out here. And then we got the hair font card. It's like you could be thinking that this is not. Um, it's almost like maybe it's, like, kind of too hard to believe with this Eight of Swords. But try to change your perspective about um, this new energy that you're going to be welcoming in. Tell me more. Why is moving silence here? So we got the page of wands. Oh, there's some type of communication. Because I'm trying to figure out what is like... Why exactly? Because um, I know it's like an opportunity or like a new cycle starting for someone. But it looks like when some type of communication is going to be showing up, y'all. It's wanting you to not mention that you received some type of communication. But if you are the one who's going to be communicating to someone or whatever, it's saying like don't tell anyone that you're going to be doing so, if that makes sense. Yeah, but the page of wands, it looks like you're starting something new. And you see how it's like... There's nobody else around them. So it's like nobody should know but you in spirit, basically. So, yeah. Tell me more about New Cycle. So, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords. It showed up in the last read, too, this Page of Swords. But, yeah, for some of you guys, it's like maybe you have someone watching you or you're watching somebody. Um, you could have someone on your radar or it could be like vice versa. But we do have the Queen of Pentacles, so it looks really good in regards to like someone's stability. Um, could be like finances and career as well. But it just looks like someone's going to be like really enjoying their success because of some type of offer or opportunity that's showing up. It could be like love attached to it too, y'all. Um, but yeah. But I feel like people are going to be like, with that page of swords, it's like a nosy type of energy. And it's like people are going to be trying to like get information about like how this came in. I believe I had said that before in a collect the read, y'all. Tell me more about moving silence here. Why is moving silence here? Why are they needing some moving silence? Oh, three of pentacles. So for some of you guys, you could be getting some type of um, work promotion or like a raise, but it's something dealing with like money and finances. And it's definitely attached to like your abundance. But yeah, with the three of pentacles showing up, it could be some type of like work offer or some type of collaboration for somebody with this three of pentacles. Oh, y'all, guess. Okay, so <laughs> what I just got, if this is some type of work opportunity, it could be an air sign involved. It doesn't have to be, but this is like, it could be an air sign or an earth sign. Those really the two only signs I see. It could be like a Taurus or something for somebody. But somebody that you're going to be collaborating with or working with y'all, whoever it is, they could be, um, it's like they could be in the public eye or something or whoever it is, they could be like well known. They have like a really good reputation. It's like maybe you have a really good reputation as well, but it's telling you not to tell people who you working with. I don't know who the person could be, but it's saying, yeah, that's what it's saying. Or whoever you're collaborating with or coming together with. Because I see, I feel like someone's going to be collaborating with some people. Um, you could be coming up with some type of ideas. It's like maybe they came to you with the idea or a vice versa. But I just feel like three people are in a room or whatever and they bounce their ideas, if that makes sense, y'all. But yeah, Spirit's saying don't even share with other people about who you're working with. Like, don't give them no names because I feel like someone's going to be trying to figure out, like, who so-and-so collaborating with, how they're making this money, like, you know, what's going on with them. But no. Tell me more about this. Yo, Will of Fortune. Something's about to change for you. For some of you guys, it's like maybe you've been manifesting this as well. But um, spirits want you to believe in yourself. Like, believe that you can make some things happen. Um... Because this looks really, really good for someone. It's like something's coming towards you or you're going towards someone else. But it's like other people involved in this situation. And it definitely has something to do with like money. This could be like new love for someone too. It's just like maybe a new person that you um, 
are going to be meeting or something. Something about the person. It's like maybe um, you're going to be networking with the person too. But just not telling everybody like who you meeting or whatever. Someone could be like meeting a celebrity y'all with this three of pentacles showing up. Because it has something to do with some like a work project with the three of pentacles showing up. And it's like you're going to be making moves with these people or like within this collaboration. I feel like by someone collaborating with someone, it's going to help them build some type of reputation. It's going to change your financial situation. But um, it's going to help other people see your work as well. So, yeah, I'm going to end the read here, y'all, because my throat hurting. But, okay, I hope that this was helpful and insightful for y'all. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe as well.